Hey, welcome back to the channel. So if you are on my email list or my Facebook group, you probably know who my fiance Jackie is. And Jackie works as a pharmacy manager. She went to school for eight years to get that degree and be able to work as a pharmacist. And she recently just got promoted to a manager position. Now she also wants to have kids in the next year or so, but there's one problem with that. And that problem is she has about 100K left in student loans and she's been paying it for about three years now. So she has about 100K left and she pays right around 2200 a month on her loans. My thing is, I don't wanna bring a kid into this world until that 100K debt is gone. I don't wanna be the one responsible if she can't work when she's taking care of the kid. I don't wanna to have to be paying her loans for her. So I want that debt gone, and I thought it'd be fun to turn it into a little challenge. So the challenge is, I wanna help Jackie pay off this 100K in student loans by the end of this year, 2021, using my skills in offer creation and copywriting and email marketing. Now I have one rule for this challenge and that is that this has to be paid off with new income streams. It can't be anything I'm already doing or already generating money from, it has to be new income streams. So that's the challenge. Help Jackie pay off her 100K in student loans by the end of this year using new income streams and all I can really use are the skills that I have in offer creation, email marketing and copywriting. So what I'm gonna do in this video is go over my plan to help her do that. I have a three-step plan to help her pay off this 100K uh, in her student loans and a three-step plan for this challenge. So I'm gonna share that with you in this video and maybe that will give you some ideas for your own 100K challenge or a 50K challenge or maybe even a 10 or 20K challenge by the end of the year. So that's what I'm gonna share with you in this video. Now before we begin, make sure you subscribe and hit the bell icon. Doing that helps me know that you are enjoying the videos and it also helps to share it to other people who can benefit from my videos as well. So again, make sure you subscribe, hit the bell icon so you don't miss any of my future videos. Now with that said, let's hop into this three-step challenge or a three-step plan for the challenge right now. So number one is I'm gonna be doing this using OPA or other people's assets. This means that instead of creating a new product or something from scratch, I'm gonna to go to people who already have existing assets like a customer list or an email list and help them cash flow it for a piece of the action. So a percentage of whatever sales I bring in. So this is what I'm already doing at Growth Response where I'm finding businesses doing seven to eight figures per year and I'm reaching out to them. Right now I'm reaching out pretty heavy on LinkedIn and cold email, and I'm monetizing their email, direct mail, and social media audiences for 30 to 50% of the sales that I bring in. Now, currently I'm working with two partners on that service, but remember, this challenge is about new income streams. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna still be offering this service, but I'm gonna go out and find new partners. So by end of the year, I wanna be doing this for two to three more people or two to three more partners and using their assets, right, OPA, and cash flowing that for a piece of whatever sales and revenue that I bring in for them. So that's the first thing, or the first step in this plan is I'm not gonna be creating anything new from scratch, no new product. I am going to be reaching out to people who already have assets, right? OPA, other people's assets, and I'm gonna cash flow it and take a percentage of the revenue that I bring in. And this is the fastest way, I believe, to go out and start making a decent amount of cash quickly without having to go out and spend a month or two creating a new product. So that's number one, using OPAs and cash flowing it for a piece of the pie. Now step two in this plan is I'm gonna be using organic strategies to go out and find these two to three more partners where I can cash flow their assets. So the two strategies or pillars in organic marketing or organic client acquisition are inbound and outbound. So for inbound, we'll talk about that first. I'm gonna be posting content on channels like YouTube, what I'm doing right now, Twitter, LinkedIn, and to my email list and Facebook group in order to build a stronger bond with my connections and the people I, I have in my network and to raise awareness and interest in what I do. So I'm gonna be posting content out on social media and that's designed to build a stronger bond with the people I'm connected with and attract them to what I have to offer. And that is inbound organic marketing. Now for outbound, what I'm doing is I am pinpointing people that I wanna work with, specific companies or specific companies in an industry or niche 
and I'm reaching out to them and trying to drum up a phone call or a conversation through messaging or email. So right now what I'm doing is I'm reaching out to people on LinkedIn and I'm gonna be showing you my LinkedIn messaging strategy in the next video, so stay tuned for that. And when I reach out to them, I t I'm telling them a bit about what I do for my service offering, but I also have an optimized LinkedIn profile, which I'll link to in the description below, or you can watch my previous video around that. And they can see and read my profile and know what I do there as well. So as I'm reaching out to people on LinkedIn, uh, this is part of Outbound, my goal is to qualify them first, make sure there's a, there's a fit there through conversations back and forth over direct messages. And then I'll invite the right people who are qualified to a phone call if they wanna learn more about how I can help them. And on that phone call, if I feel like we're fit to work together based on their numbers and what they currently have as their existing assets, I'll invite them to work with me on this new service offering that I have where I'm cash flowing their existing assets. So that's step two is I'm using organic strategies to get two to three more partners for this, this service where I'm working with OPA. And those two strategies or those two organic strategies are inbound where I'm posting content out to social media to raise awareness and raise interest and build a stronger bond with the people in my network. And then outbound, which is pinpointing and identifying people I wanna work with and reaching out to them directly to generate a phone call and then eventually a paying partner or paying client. Now step three of this 100K challenge is once I do land two to three partners, I'm gonna be using email, live chat, and physical direct mail to get them results. So as I mentioned a few times, I'm working with OPA, other people's assets for this challenge. And the way that I run this service is I don't get paid anything upfront. It's 100% performance based, which makes it a really good no-brainer offer. And I work with their existing customer lists across email, direct mail, if they have physical addresses, and also their social media audiences and I'm extracting sales out of their existing assets. And the way that I do that is through email, live chat, and physical direct mail. So for example, one of the partners that I work with, he has a book that he sells on Amazon, he also sells it on his own site. And he sells about 50 copies of this book every day. Now on the back of that book, he has a 2K course, and he also has a 25K a year mastermind or coaching program. Now the problem that he has is he's struggling to get a good conversion rate of people who are converting from that book that he's selling on Amazon and on his own site. And he's, he's struggling to convert those people into his 2K course and then eventually to his, two, his 25K mastermind. So what I'm doing is I'm coming into his business and I'm helping to enroll and convert more people who are book buyers into his 2K and eventually his 25K a year mastermind. And I get 30% of whatever the sales that I bring in of people who I sell into that 2K and that 25K. So for example, if I generate him 100K in a month, I get $30,000 worth of that, right? So if I'm generating him 100K worth of sales of his 2K and his 25K uh, course and mastermind, I get $30,000 worth of sales because I get 30% rev share of whatever I bring in. And that's how the service works, right? So I, again, I, I use their existing assets, OPA, I work with their customer lists and their prospect lists across email, direct mail, and their social media audiences in some cases. And I use email, live chat, and direct mail to enroll people into their mid to higher ticket offerings. And I get a piece of whatever I bring in. Usually it's around 30%. And that's step three, which is how I'm gonna get them results, right? Using email, live chat, direct mail to enroll new people into their different offerings. So that is my three-step plan for this challenge of how I'm gonna help Jackie pay off for 100K in student loans hopefully by the end of this year. That's the challenge, right? Am I gonna do it? Not really sure with new income streams, but we'll see. That's the goal for these next three and a half, four months. So again, the three steps. Number one, I'm gonna use OPA or other people's assets, and I'm gonna find two to three more partners to offer the service offering that I'm doing. Step two is I'm gonna use organic strategies, inbound and outbound, to land these two to three more partners for this service where I'm monetizing and cash flowing other people's assets. And step three is I'm gonna use email, live chat, and direct mail to get results for these two to three partners that I have. And I'm gonna take 30% of whatever sales I bring them. So if I can get you know $35,000 a month, meaning if I'm generating them 100K a month or a little over 100K per month for these two to three partners, I can hit that 100K goal by the end of the year. Now this might sound like a very simplified plan, and it is, because if I wanna hit this goal in three and a half to four months, it needs to be simple. I need to have a simple 
plan of attack. And that is my three-step plan. That's what I'm gonna be doing over the next few months. I'm gonna be trying to build these new income streams with these two to three new partners and getting them results and getting paid that way, this 100K. Now, if you wanna stay updated on the journey, make sure you join my free Facebook group and my email list. Go to emailrainmaker.com. That's gonna take you directly to my free Facebook group. And if you put in your email and there's gonna be three questions you answer, it's gonna put you on my email list as well so you can stay updated on this challenge and on the steps that I'm taking to achieve this challenge and get it done. So again, go to emailrainmaker.com. That'll take you straight to the group where you can join for free. Now, if you got value out of this or you found this interesting, give it a like and let me know in the comments, what questions do you have about this 100K challenge and what I'm doing in each of these three steps? Let me know in the comments. Would love to hear from you. All right, well, that's it for this video. I will see you in the next one. Take it easy.